Uh, basically we were inside, we heard a loud bang, stood around for about five minutes, shook the whole building, um, a couple of people thought it was an earthquake, and five minutes after that they made an announcement over the PA system and the security saying that they thought everything was okay, that emergency crews were checking it out, and five minutes after that they evacuated us. We've been standing out here for about 45 minutes. It's in there. Yeah. So that's basically it, and we've all been out here and um, under sort of instructions to go home. Yeah. So the building shook when, when the explosion happened? Yeah, the building shook. It was pretty bad. I thought it was an earthquake. All right. Something along that sort of line. Yeah. Um, did you see any smoke or anything bellowing out when you when you came outside? No, there wasn't any smoke or anything. It was just um, people were just pointing up at the air conditioning unit and you could see how it had been blown out. Yeah. Was there any sort of panic at all? No, no, no panic. Everyone was pretty calm. The, the centre security was great. They came around and instructed us all, look, we need to leave, and everyone helped each other and picked it in. Uh, there was a little bit of worry, I suppose, but we got the customers out, and no one really understood what was going on. Yeah. What have you heard since then? Uh, just that it was um, an explosion with the air conditioner, and there's probably a good chance that we couldn't get out. Get, get back in, sorry. So you reckon that they'll suspend training for the rest of the day? Yeah, I'd say they probably will, yeah, All until right. they further investigate. Alright, thanks mate. Cheers, no. Okay, can you just explain to me what happened before you heard the explosion? Actually there was a sound um, and uh, a little bit vibration in the building. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, <coughs> an announcement from the centre management that everything is okay. Okay. But after 10 minutes, again they announced that everybody has to evacuate the building. Yeah. So we had to come out. Okay. And you see upstairs there, there is an uh, explosion. People saying that two people hurt. Yeah. That's what we know so far. Yeah. So um, when the explosion happened, you felt a bit of a shake in the building? Yeah. Yes. There yeah. was a, a bit of a vibration. vibration. Yeah. yeah. It happens when uh, somebody, you know, when, when they drop, when they drop uh, pallets or something, you know, all the shops and all. Yeah. But it was a very big one. Yeah. Was there any sort of panic when uh, you felt the explosion? Actually, that that was common for us, but yeah. um, there was no panic. But they are already they have announced that everything is okay. Yeah. But some some customers still uh, they were a bit panic customers. Yeah. yeah. So you were on the ground level. Yes, we were on the ground level. We didn't know anything. <laughs> Okay. Only we could see the vibration thing. And have you heard anything else about it since then? About what happened? In, uh, some people were saying like, uh, in, in the beginning they were saying something was uh, wrong with the uh, lifts. But uh, the other people, most of the people when we came out, they were saying like, the explosion with the gas. So, that's all we know. Okay. Have they told you whether you'll be going back to work today? We are not sure, but uh, we are expecting that uh, in the next couple of hours we, we might go inside and work. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks for that. Thank you. For There's a, a wall up on the very top of the roof that has been affected by the explosion. What we're doing is that may fall, we're obviously taking safety as a number one precaution, that's why we're going to move fire appliances and all the people from the street just in case. So, uh, presumably all the crowds that were here were in a bit of danger for a while, weren't they? Well, we, we weren't able to get up to the top simply because of the amount of damage. We have to do it carefully ourselves. Um, as soon as we're able to, to get up there to have a look at, do a, a bit of a recon as to what's happened, we've got the information back down as quickly as we could. There were workmen, we're just trying to verify exactly what they were doing. We appreciate when we like to talk to them, but um, definitely three workers have been taken. 
All three will work. It's two I'm led to believe with uh, serious burns, one all has been taken as well. Do you know the age or sex of the victims? No, I, I don't know other than that they were working. I don't have age or anything. So one was conscious? Was he able to tell you anything about what happened? I'm not sure. We, we weren't on scene when they were taken. From, from what I've heard, that they were down on, on ground level very early. The ambulance was quickly on scene and they've taken them straight to the hospital.